Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Poonam Dua and with me today you are going to understand the basic central theme of the world famous novel Pride and Prejudice written by Jane Austen. इस नॉवल में क्या क्या सेंट्रल थीम्स हैं और किस किस तरीके से हमें ऐसे क्वेश्चन अटेम्प्ट करने चाहिए इस पर्टिकुलर नॉवल के दैट वी विल डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो लेट अस प्रोसीड टू आवर वीडियो नाउ दिस नॉवल एक्चुअली रिवॉल्व्स अराउंड लव एंड मैरिज हाउ हाउ डू द कैरेक्टर्स फॉल इन लव विद ईच अदर एंड हाउ दैट पर्टिकुलर लव टर्न्स इनटू marriage that is the centrality of this novel one of the most um, important theme of pride and prejudice love and marriage that i told you already love and marriage is also the central theme of the novel and the oft quoted opening sentence of the novel demonstrates the basic theme these are the initial lines it is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife let us discuss how should we start writing our essay answer always start with introduction introduction of the novel introduction of the novelist so pride and prejudice ka introduction dekhiye hame kya kehta hai it is uh, an 1813 novel of manners written by jane austen a novel of manners is a ma uh, is a kind of novel in which the characters are shown to be very much status oriented and they uh, have artificiality because of their status it follows a relationship between the prejudiced elizabeth bennet and the over confident mr darcy that is the these are the two characters jinko ki hamara title bhi bahut had tak justify karta hai title is pride and prejudice initially ye dono hi characters are full of both pride and prejudice and slowly and steadily how they come close to each other this is about this is what the novel is about it follows the relationship between Elizabeth Bennet and Darcy as both learn to uh, you know uh, mend their errors or uh, repair their relationship in judgment and look beyond the markers of social status kis tarike se wo apni judgments ko jo ki unhone shuru mein hi maintain kar li thi un judgments ko thoda thoda mend karte hain thoda thoda repair karte hain aur uske baad apne social status ko sideline karke they start looking at each other from humanistic point of view let us go for the introduction of jane austen now jane austen or novelist she was a georgian era author best known for her social commentary in novels including sense and sensibility and pride and prejudice uh, in total six novels are credited to her name emma pride and prejudice persuasion northinger abby sense and sensibility and mansfield if you will remember and recall all these six names in your examination that will be really scoring for you uske baad uh, novel ko basically introduce karne ke baad aur novelist ko introduce karne ke baad you can go towards the question question jisme aapse theme pucha gaya hai so major theme of this novel is marriage actually it is uh, true that the chief occupation of jane austen's heroines all the heroines not only pride and prejudice was to get married and life was just a matrimonial celebrity or ceremony for all of them so point to point if we see pride and prejudice dramatizes the economic inequality of women is line se hamara kya matlab hai is line se hamara matlab hai ki women but not given any kind of financial opportunity women had to marry undesirable maids in order to gain financial security and the next point marriage was a significant social concern in her time marriage ko bahut hi important mana jata tha and jane was fully conscious of uh, the disadvantages of being single as she even wrote to uh, one of her niece unhone apni niece ko ye sentences likhe the ki single women have a dreadful propensity for being poor which is one very strong argument in favor of matrimony hum is novel mein hi ek law dekhte hain jiske according daughters ko father ki property mein koi share nahi milega after the death of father 
तो दैट मीन्स की फीमेल्स को फाइनेंशियली हमेशा मेल्स पर डिपेंड रहना पड़ता है दैट वॉज द मेजर रीजन दैट ऑल द फीमेल्स ऑफ दैट टाइम यूज टू फॉल फॉर एनी पर्सन इन ऑर्डर टू गेट मैरिड We get to see total five couples, five married couples in this novel. सबसे पहले आएंगे शेलोट एंड कॉलिन्स देन लिडिया एंड विकम देन जेन एंड वेंगली एंड एलिजाबेथ डार्सी ये तो फोर न्यूली वेड्स हैं एंड द ओल्ड मैरिज ऑफ मिस्टर एंड मिसिज बेनेट वी विल एनालाइज ऑल दीज फाइव मैरिजेस इन दिस वीडियो टू फॉर्म योर आंसर बात करेंगे सबसे पहले मिस्टर एंड मिसिज बेनेट की मैरिज ऑफ दिस कपल मिस्टर एंड मिसेस बेनेट आई थिंक इज द वेरी बैड आई शुड यूज द वर्ड वोस वोस एग्जांपल ऑफ इट्स काइंड इन अ नोवेल एंड दे आर क्वाइट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ईच अदर द बेटर वर्ड रिटन हियर इज फॉल अपार्ट दे आर फॉल अपार्ट फ्रॉम ईच अदर इन एवरी थॉट एवरी टेम्परामेंट एंड द मैरिज इज शोन टू बी अ डिजास्टरस काइंड ऑफ मैरिज विद अ वाइफ ऑलवेज प्लेइंग द पार्ट ऑफ अ फूल एंड ऑलवेज लुकिंग फॉर सम और दी अदर सोशल आइडेंटिटी एंड द हजबेंड इज शोन टू बी क्वाइट रैशनल एंड रिट्रीटिंग टू लिव एन अन इन्वॉल्व लाइफ मुझे किसी भी चीज में इन्वॉल्व नहीं होना प्लीज डू नॉट इन्वॉल्व मी इन एनी सेरेमनी एनी फंक्शन एनी सोशल गेट टूगेदर आई वॉन्ट टू लिव माई लाइफ यू कैन लिव योर own life that kind of temperament is of mr banet iske baad jo shaadi hoti hai is novel mein that is of charlotte and collins charlotte ko samajhte hain pehle agar humne charlotte ko samajh liya to we will understand the equation between the marriage as well charlotte once says to lizzy elizabeth i am not romantic you know i never was i ask only a comfortable home and considering Mr Collins character connections and situations in life i'm convinced that my chance of happiness with him is as fair as most people can boast on entering the marriage state so charlotte uh, keeps this kind of views about marriage and love is not a reason at all charlotte and collins are the first newly wed since charlotte agrees that marriage for her is a financial security nothing more than that this marriage is a runaway marriage lydia wickham's marriage the runaway marriage of lydia wickham is based on what superficial qualities of sex appearance good looks and youthful kind of flirtation i will call it infatuation the passion between the unprincipled rake that is wickham wickham and the flighty lydia is bound to cool and in their unhappy conjugal life mutual toleration is the nearest approach that can be expected lydia bahut hi flirtatious thi and wickham was an opportunist wickham ko koi na koi opportunity nazar aayi lydia se shaadi karne mein he was given offered money by darcy so wickham ke liye to this marriage is completely based upon sexual and monetary pleasure nothing more than that and lydia uh, got very desperate for getting married maybe because of the uh, regular persuasion of her mother so this marriage is not based on the deep connection and in future this marriage can stay longer if they are able to tolerate each other in future next couple is chain and bingley both are the characters who are gullible and too good hearted to ever act strongly against any kind of external forces very pure these characters are extremely pure extremely innocent however unlike darcy and elizabeth there is no planning of their relationship they do not plan their relationship they do not go through many trials and tribulations both the characters are very sophisticated very shy so their marriage we can call is the marriage of success because none of them is love next marriage is of those two characters because of whom the novel has been given the name pride and prejudice yes elizabeth and darcy clearly written here darcy marries elizabeth because of her merits because of her qualities and his affection for her not for any pragmatic any practical 
reason. Darcy is one of the two central characters in Jane Austen's 1813 novel Pride and Prejudice 1839. Deliberately telling you so that you are able to recall. He is a typical kind of aloof romantic hero and a romantic interest of Elizabeth Bennet as well. And Elizabeth Bennet is novel's protagonist. It is a kind of an ideal marriage. Why do we call it an ideal marriage? Because they truly understand each other first. They cross-examine each other first and then they get married to each other. According to Jane Austen, the courtship of Darcy and Elizabeth is a perfect union which sums up the purpose of the novel. So we reach to the end of this question. Whenever you get a question, okay, what is the theme of pride and prejudice? This is the basic theme, love and marriage. How does uh, any kind of relationship work and how love is important for few people and love is not important for few people. Jaise ki Charlotte Collins ke liye love bilkul important nahi hai. Lydia Wickham ke liye love is just an infatuation. Jane and Bingley are very shy and they teach us ki if you love somebody, you should be expressive. And Elizabeth Darcy, they teach us that a good amount of cross-examination proves to be fine for a marriage. And the old marriage, old marriage of Mr. and Mrs. Bennet shows us ki how far two people can live with each other who are pulled apart from each other. Every love relationship and marriage depicted in pride and prejudice is kind of distinct uh, quite unique from each other and thus I will say that uh, the theme of love and marriage is very very aptly exemplified in Pride and Prejudice this novel which was published in 1813. You may join the online classes to cover all the topics in detail and to get admission please check the link in description Thanks a lot for watching. Best of luck for your exams and please do not forget to share and subscribe the channel.